my god. So it just occurred to me, like, 20 minutes, half an hour before I'm supposed to leave for school, that today's Thursday and I'm supposed to make a video today, and, um, so it's gonna be kind of rushed, but at least I'm posting something. Also, I could not decide whether this or this was worse. Um, I, I decided to go with the extremely bright light, so sorry if it's all, like, ridiculous looking and weird, but things. Uh, for this week's theme, I wasn't really sure what to do since I don't usually watch the Oscars. I usually choose to um, just find all the red carpet pictures on the internet after and just like um, watch people live vlog them. It also occurred to me this year that I really think that the Academy is a bunch of like ridiculously snobby douchebags who don't give awards to anybody who actually deserved them. I'm not even gonna go into the whole like Harry Potter versus Iron Lady or whatever the fuck that movie was that didn't deserve the makeup award. So my proposed category for the Oscars is people who we should have nominated and given awards to that we didn't because we're assholes. And they basically say, hey look, we fucked up because we're pretentious snobs and you guys are amazing and deserve things. So that's a thing. Also the reason why I forgot that I had to do a video is because my desk is currently a shrine to a whole bunch of historical figures and psychologists and scientists and philosophers who are important to the movement of psychology, like this thing which is on my wall. This is a list of 48 names of people, the movement that they were a part of, ontological and epistemological views, and the important things they did and important contributions to psychology and like the impact they made. And all of these are things, like this is just a really rough outline, like this column here could be expanded into like 20 pages and that's a bunch of shit that I have to remember for this midterm that's coming up. Especially because it is not a multiple choice midterm. So there's a lot of information that I have to know and there's a lot of like things that I have to do in order to be able to get full marks on this thing. And at the same time, I have two other projects slash papers that I haven't even started yet that I have to be working on. Also, the goal of like not going on Tumblr that I did a couple videos ago is actually kind of intertwined into all of this because I've decided that Tumblr is basically a giant shithole of wasted time and my life has gotten significantly better since I stopped going on Tumblr. Those are things that happened to me slash decisions I made in the past week. I look forward to seeing Alicia's video tomorrow, and uh, uh, the rest of you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye! There are so many holes in my wall now because of all the things that I'm sticking up on my wall to do this. Like, I actually had to move my Harry Potter poster. Like, this is how dedicated I am to this midterm. I moved my Harry Potter Part 2 Deathly Hallows poster in order to have more room to tack up things about this class onto my wall in front of my desk so I can see them and organize them because my desk is too small to actually have all of these papers on it. Just, oh my god. Like, if we ever move and have to like, I, I don't even know what we're gonna do because they're gonna look at this wall and be like, this is 90% tack holes and like 1% actual drywall and wood and shit that makes up walls. Like, heh.